Yeah, I got to shoot the steering wheel because as soon as I post it on the website, um, y'all might not recognize it if you saw the picture. You see, it, it might say West. I'm using the heading Western Express just to guide you to it. That's the reason why I don't want to change it no more. <clears throat> I can't believe this. Yeah, I just released the, the first one. Hey, the first, the first one I shot before this one, I have to apologize because, yeah, my boss, my boss was ringing the phone while I was shooting the video. So, yeah, I got an additional good news. That's the reason why he was ringing the phone the second time. This is part two of the first one. Yes, he, he called me to tell me that the truck, the, the other one, the, the stick shift um, Kenworth that I was driving, for you know every day for five months yeah he um he said the truck the truck uh, the truck is ready it, it only had two defective sensors that's what was wrong so it wasn't the def pump like i thought it would like this one like this one right here had a def pump um malfunction the def pump actually went bad on that one and it got restricted, the computer restricted it, uh, five, what was it, 10 miles an hour? F yeah, it restricted it down to 10 miles an hour and then five miles an hour. And that's the same that happened with the, the second, the second Cascadia that's older than that. And it's the same sh body style as that one. The one from Advanced Transportation's uh, system, the European truck drivers, yeah. The same thing happened to that one also. But they had me driving that thing five miles an hour to the Freightliner shop. Like six, what was it, six miles? And it took me an hour and a half. <laughs> Ridiculously, I did it. But this one, yeah, that Kenworth only had two bad sensors, and that's it. And that's the reason why I'm inside of this Peterbilt right here. So... The second good news after that, or the third, I don't know, the second good news, I'm taking this truck and the trailer. I got a loaded trailer right now. Uh, I'm taking the truck and trailer back to the yard, and I'm pulling my stuff back into that Kenworth. And I told my boss that even though this speed is pretty nice and it drives pretty good, it drives good, it feels comfortable when you drive it, but I keep hitting my head right there. I keep hitting my head right at that roof right there. And not only that, I can't, I don't have enough space. And I got to, you, you see, that's the reason why I got all this stuff right here. Because it don't have no top bunk. It's limited. It's a limited version. So that's why I got to stash my stuff over there. So that's the reason why you see all this junk all over the place. See, I got a Hewlett Packard on. What do you call it? printer desk jack printer so yes um, I'm getting the Kenworth back and that's the truck that have all this space I can stretch out I can work out everything so not only he he didn't it's like he's pulling me off the load just to give me a break he's showing mercy on me that's what that's the only reason why he ain't switching and he didn't he's not deliberately switching to another truck. Yes, the last the last time the last time I swapped the trailer was two days ago. I think it was yesterday. I think it was yesterday, yeah. I must have swapped it yesterday. Somewhere I think no no, it was no, it was the day before yesterday because I drove um all the way to South Dakota and then came back. So it, yeah, it was two days ago. Yeah, some some lady came up and um, my boss told me to take this trailer from. So it's like I'm taking the truck and trailer back to the yard, and I'm switching into the other truck. So I'm going to be bobtailing tomorrow. Now I'm going to be bobtailing the rest of the day today, and I think I'm gonna go to Walmart, go to that same spot, get my wife and finish up brushing up what I was doing right here. And I'm taking the rest of the day off. And then Saturday and Sunday, I should have off. 
So he said, it's more like he giving me a reward. It's like, you know, he said, he kept saying it like three to four times. He said, I'm a hard working, I'm a hard working person compared to everybody else on this um, job. So he said, um, he said, I deserve a break. And I said, yeah, I could sure use it. Because um, the tendons in my neck, no, excuse me, the tendons in my left side of my neck, the back of my neck are already messed up. So, anyways, it's like, that's my reason for shooting this second video is because I, um, I got interrupted the second time. And that's the reason why he was telling me that the truck is out of the shop. So what I have to do now, I'm going to go ahead and brush up, finish doing one or two more games, and that's it. Then after that, I'm going to cut loose. Oh, shoot. Hell no. Excuse me if I'm wrong. I think what I better do, if it says 208 right now, it's 108. And two, I got two more hours. You know what? I'll brush up. I'll probably clean this up right now. I'll go ahead and go to the yard. And um, I'm going to go ahead and drop this trail. I think this thing is like 20 miles away. I'll probably get up and leave right now. All right, I'll check you all later.